Today we're going to talk about three prospects from the 2023 NFL Draft class that you could get in your rookie drafts this offseason that could help your dynasty teams. These are kind of under the radar players who are receiving some buzz right now. But they're not considered top five guys. They're not considered top prospects. These are guys that you'll probably be able to get in your second and third round of rookie drafts unless something crazy happens during the combine, during the offseason. But let's dig into these players real quick. The first player we're going to look at is a running back. And we all want cheap running backs with upside. And we're going to have plenty of them in this year's class. And here we're going to be talking about Israel Abakanda from Pittsburgh and this guy was lightning in a bottle this year had a huge junior season with 1,431 yards and 20 touchdowns finished his collegiate career with six straight 100 yard games he also had a huge game against Virginia Tech with 320 yards and six touchdowns this guy can take over he can be dominant he averaged 2.67 yards after contact per attempt he's 5 foot 11 and weighs 215 pounds it has good speed and burst so good size adjusted athleticism as well and runs with good power can string together moves in the open field has some wiggle and can operate in small spaces he has good vision but not perfect he's an okay wide receiver can catch some balls out of the backfield caught 30 balls during his sophomore season 17 this year he's getting a lot of social media buzz right now a lot of people like this guy because you watch the highlights you watch him on tape, you see a bigger running back who's explosive, who's housing some of these runs, and that's good to see. And from an NFL draft standpoint, his draft capital, his landing spot is going to be very impactful. If he gets decent draft capital, we're going to see him have decent rookie draft value. If he falls a little bit, then he's just going to be a sleeper. So really, for rookie drafts, this is a guy you want to keep an eye on because there's a lot of good stuff in his profile. We got production. We are seeing athleticism on the tape. We're seeing some good intangibles on the tape. So a lot of good things coming from Izzy that you need to be aware of. The next player we're going to talk about is a big-time wide receiver who just didn't live up to the hype but has some specs that could allow him to be productive at the next level and you might be able to get him at a discount in your rookie drafts. We're talking about Rakeem Jarrett from Maryland. He's a former five-star recruit. But he was very underwhelming, did not live up to the five-star height. But there are some good things to lean on. He caught 40 balls for 471 yards and three touchdowns this season. But during his freshman year, he had a 19% market share of Maryland's passing production. Then he followed it up during his sophomore season with a 20.93% market share of their passing production, while also averaging 1.89 yards per team pass attempt. He played 94.6% of his snaps in the slot this year. But overall in his career has played 93.8% of his snaps in the slot. So you're looking at a wide receiver who's going to more than likely be in the slot at the NFL level. He can get you yards after the catch. This dude has good athleticism. He's got speed. He's got burst. When the ball's in his hands, he is dangerous, which makes him a good threat in the slot as well. He's a smaller, compact wide receiver, about a buck 90 to 200 pounds. That could be impactful when it comes to his draft stock. But the thing about him is the price tag is going to be more than palatable in drafts and his athleticism is going to be there. I look for him to be a huge riser at the combine. I look for his combine numbers to say a lot for him, and that's when a lot of people are just going to start jumping on board to Rakeem Jarrett. Remember, the production wasn't snazzy, but the athleticism, the value in rookie drafts might be there. If you want to talk about value, if you want to talk about a late-round pick in your rookie drafts, a guy you want to throw a dart at, just see what happens Let's look at a running back here that might be able to make an impact in the right situation or the dominoes fall his way, and that's Evan Hall, running back from Northwestern. He is going to be a late-round prospect in rookie drafts unless something happens that causes him the bump up, but I wouldn't be surprised if he becomes a trendy option for the fourth round of rookie drafts, third round of rookie drafts. Because of what we saw in the field this year, he caught 55 balls this season. He caught 33 the year before, has five 100 yard games, finished the year with 913 rushing yards and five touchdowns, but he caught 55 balls along with 546 yards and two touchdowns as well. He is used in the pass game. He's a bigger back at 5'11", 210 pounds. We'll get the actual size once we get to the combine. But the thing about him is he ranked sixth among all running backs 
with 290 routes ran, leads all running backs in college football with 66 targets. So he's a pass catching back with size. What that means is he can be used on short yards and goal line situations and be used in the passing game as well. So if he ever gets the opportunity to be the guy, he has the chance to give you fantasy value because he can catch the ball in the backfield and he can also run it between the tackles. He's shown that he can be productive and he can also run with power. He's very diverse and that is something you want to look at when you're looking at a late round running back. You want to look at bigger running backs who's catching the ball in the backfield. You don't want to just look at catches, but you also want to look at ADOT, yards after the catch per reception, and a bunch of other markers. He averaged 8.9 yards after the catch per reception this season, which is pretty solid for a bigger running back, which means once he gets the ball in his hands in the open field, he has the potential to eat up yards, to get extra yardage, to score more fantasy points, which could lead to more targets later in that game or later in his career or whatever, but will lead to more opportunities if he keeps being more efficient once he gets the ball in his hands. That is something you want to look at when you're looking at these late round running backs in your rookie drafts. But those are three prospects that you can take a look at while you're studying for your rookie drafts right now as we're getting ready to roll into 2023. I'm trying to help you out here, get you ready for this rookie draft season that's about to come up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. It's only going to help you going forward because I'm covering the rookie draft process day in and day out. Also here for you for redraft, dynasty, and everything else. I want to thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.